734. This morning, Brian Schatz tweeted, here's the order of people seeing the health care bill. 13 dudes in secret, then Republican lobbyists, then CBO, then you and me. Sick. Hawaii Senator Schatz is with us live by phone. Senator, you're not usually given to tweet storms, so I know the secretive process here has got you very seriously riled. That's right. You know, Howard, you, you know me uh, temperamentally. I'm not one to necessarily cast aspersions on a personal level, but I have to tell you what's happening in the Senate is worth being alarmed about. Uh, they are deliberating in secret. There are 13 men, uh, all Republicans, uh, who are drafting a bill uh, that will have impact on tens of millions of Americans and fully one-sixth of the American economy. We don't know what it looks like, uh, and we don't even know when we're going to consider it, but they have already uh, said that they will not have any hearings. Uh, so we are in the process of evaluating our options, including slowing uh, Senate business down to a halt or a near halt. We'll be on the floor uh, tonight for the better part of the evening. Uh, giving speeches and making motions uh, and just generally making, uh, frankly, as much trouble as we can make, uh, and not just for the purpose of making trouble, but all we are asking, look, they have the majority, um, but all we are asking is that they conduct a hearing. Uh, we think this is an important issue, and we think that the chairman of the Finance Committee ought to preside over a hearing uh, and preside over a normal, regular order markup, which means that Members of the Senate on both sides of the aisle can think about how the bill impacts their home state. They can suggest amendments. There can be a voting process. I mean, that's the way the Senate is supposed to work. Uh, and what's happening right now is unusual. And it's going to result in a bad bill that's going to cut Medicaid, that's going to reduce protections for people with uh, pre-existing conditions. Uh, it's going to do harm to not just the American economy, but to the tens of millions of people who depend on the health care system as it is. Do you think some of this is the difficulty that they're encountering getting enough Republicans on board to pass it with Republicans? I know there are at least three Republicans who think it isn't tough enough and four on the other side who would like it to be, uh, as the president put it, more generous than the House version. I think you're exactly right. They don't, you know, even though uh, they have the majority, it's a bare majority, and this is a pretty unpopular bill. I mean, this bill is polling at around 17 uh, percent. You can, you can scarcely find a piece of legislation less uh, popular than this, and they have a difficult challenge within their caucus. They have people who want to defund uh, Planned Parenthood, most of them, but you also have two women who want to continue funding for Planned Parenthood. Uh, you have people who want to cut Medicaid, and then you have people whose uh, constituents uh, rely on Medicaid. And so they're having a, a, a difficult time getting to 51, uh, which is why we feel like the best uh, disinfectant is sunshine. Uh, we just think that uh, for, for all the flaws in the legislative process, uh, the best thing that can ever happen to any bill is to subject it to a public hearing, and we'll go from there. I assume that, that uh, you and other senators have made a, a formal request, or an, an informal one, to do something like this up till now. What has the response been? You know, the, the uh, majority leader just shuts it down immediately. The, the Senate Republicans with whom I normally work uh, on lots of pieces of legislation, I have you know personal friendships with them, uh, they sort of shrug their shoulders and say this is in the leader's hands, which is why we're choosing to escalate at this time. Uh, you know, the, the normal kind of relationship stuff that, that usually works uh, when it comes to getting things done uh, is not working, and that's because the leadership has decided that no matter how much pain this causes uh, to people, no matter how uh, dumb politically this is for them, that they feel like they've got to go through with it. And so we feel like as long as we can allow the American people to see the bill and weigh in on it, uh, that we don't think it'll be enacted. All right. Senator Brian Schatz uh, talking to us live from Washington. We uh, thank you for your time. Thank and you, Howard.